Hey guys, what's going on? It's That Home Theater Dude. Got a brand new episode for you today. Today's episode is all about acoustic panels, how to make them, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So you can make acoustic panels for a room that's very echoey. So yeah, pretty much every single room can benefit from this. Even if you have carpet and you have, you know, uh, you know, a lot of furniture, it'll help you out a lot more if you add some of these. Uh, you can buy these, obviously. It's gonna cost you a little more cash, but if you have time, I would recommend just go ahead and just getting the materials, building it yourself. Uh, that way, you know, you're a little more um, involved in the, your, your actual home theater. So first and foremost, I would say, uh, try to get as much furniture in your room as possible. And then um, things like, you know, the windows or something you really can't prevent, but you can do acoustic curtains. And to be honest, a uh, really heavy velvet works out really good. And it also works with blocking light. So if that's important to you, um, then I would recommend doing that. Another important thing is make sure you have a rug. Um, if you have, you know, hardwood or tile, I have a rug, but I rolled it up to make these panels. And so the panels are really easy. You don't need uh, a whole lot of equipment to make this happen. You just need wood. Um, you need, uh, I use Safe and Sound from Rockwool, from Rockwool, and you can also use Owen Corning 703. Those are really good for the actual acoustic panels themselves. If you want to make bass traps, you're going to either double up on the Rockwool and just add them front to back and just use a different type of wood, like a, a thicker piece of wood. And you would use the Owen Corning 705. So different materials to do this, this stuff. This isn't about making the actual base traps themselves, but uh, if you follow the, the same setup, everything is exactly similar. I'll even show you the dimensions of the wood you need to buy um, right after this little video. So uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into how you make them. Basically just get the wood, you cut it to size, and then you start fastening everything. So you fasten the, the top to the, the side pieces, and then you're basically just making a little box. And then I would say add two forward uh, su supports so that your um, material doesn't come through the front, and then also two on the back. So that way it's kind of like sandwiched in there and it doesn't move. All you do after that is just wrap it with fabric and then add your little mounting solution. So if you want to add these to the ceiling, then I would say add some hooks to it. And if you want to mount these on the wall, then you know, add some uh, some picture picture hanging type of mounts. Besides that, it's really easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into it right now. I'll show you the list first, and then that's it. At the very end of the video, I'll show you what I learned and what not to do whenever you're making these. All right. So check it out. So whenever you're doing this stuff, this is the the rock wool. Um, I'll leave links for everything down in the description. But as you can see, I already built the uh, the actual frame for the uh, acoustic panel, and uh, this stuff is fiberglass. It's insulation, so obviously wear gloves. And uh, if you want, wear a mask so you don't breathe the stuff in. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and get it wrapped now, and that should be about it. I mean, this takes a little time to do, so. I think it's gonna. I think it's really gonna pay off. But if you guys have spare time, save yourself some cash rather than going and buying these things. These things cost a, uh, you know, they can cost a lot of money. So it's easier just to go ahead and make them yourself. So yeah, give me a minute. I'll go ahead and get this uh, inside, and then uh, we'll get it wrapped.
just like that, the acoustic panels are done. So with doing these, I would say a couple, couple mistakes that I made along the way, I uh, hope that you guys don't do it, the, the, do it as well, is that I bought the wrong wood. So that little uh, white wood that I got, I thought that it'd be you know nice to have something that I didn't have to paint because I wasn't necessarily uh, gonna wrap the fabric around the whole thing. I was gonna leave some frame exposed. But I would say just grab some, some cedar or some pine. Typically they're around the same price and they're not gonna split like this crappy particle board that I got. But the frame's not important. Another thing is you saw on the very first clip that I put down some plastic painter's tarp or whatever. So I was originally planning on using wood glue, but if you're using um, wood screws for these, it works pretty good. So uh, these things don't necessarily have to be super structurally sound. So if, if you just wanna you know, get the cabinets together, then do that. Obviously, if you're meticulous and you really want to you know, do it the proper way, then get wood glue. Another thing is always buy more fabric than you need because I ran into the problem with how you saw one of them, uh, the back was exposed and I had to actually wrap it with a different set of fabric on the back. That was that last clip. So I would say just grab enough fabric. Each of these takes over about two, each of these takes about two yards to cover. And another thing is fabric. So as you can see, I've chose not to go, you know, speaker cloth like a lot of people do. This is actually pants. This is pants. Like if you go, if you go to Joanne Fabric, this is pants cloth and this is like something that you would make, uh, I guess you could make pants out of that too. It, it, I bought it in the suit section. <laughs> so uh, big important thing is make sure you get linen, cotton, polyester, and not velvet and not canvas because those things are gonna um, completely negate the purpose of you doing this. So like I said, important uh, on getting the right fabric. Fabric is, uh, is probably the most expensive part of this besides the wood. And I went to Joanne Fabrics. If, if, if I were to tell you guys to do it, I would say before you go, make sure you know how much you need. And then two, uh, give yourself a lot of time because there's tons of fabric in there unless you just want to go and get black spe speaker cloth like they have there, they have that as well. Um, just make sure you give yourself enough time because there's tons of op um, options. And before you go, go to Joanne's website, sign up for their little e-newsletter, e like put your email in there. They're gonna immediately send you a, a, a coupon. So that'll save you some cash on this. Cause like I said, the, the fabric is the most expensive part of it. But besides that, I mean, uh, it worked out pretty good. I would definitely recommend getting an electric stapler because you're gonna be doing a ton of staples on this. And unless you're super beefy and burly and you have the most massive forearms in the world, um, then if, if you don't mind, you know, jamming in 500 to, to like a thousand staples, then I mean, yeah, electric, uh, electric staple gun, definitely worth it. Besides that, I think I, uh, I think I escaped this without a, without a hitch. So I only made four right now because that's all the wood that I bought, but obviously you, you want to cover 40% of your room. And another important thing I'll get into another video is placement. And another quick thing is if you have uh, extra wine corks laying around and you're gonna mount these on the wall, cause these are going on the ceiling, I think. So if you're gonna mount these on the wall, um, I would say get some wine cork from an old wine bottle, cut it in half, like long ways, you know, and then hot glue those on the corners. That way you'll have some cork insulation so that whenever you put these on the wall that you're not gonna get any vibration or buzz. And then another thing that I did is these, since I plan on mounting them to the ceiling, that I put hooks on them. This is just the glue up here. I'll probably finish this back one off, you know, just cause it looks terrible. But to be honest, if this is on the ceiling, you're not gonna be looking at it anyway. But I put hooks on there because I was planning on mounting those to the ceiling. And then you just mount, you know, the same hooks on the ceiling and then you just suspend it. Besides that, that is dead. That's the end of this episode. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time.